Alrighty, so my name is Carl, guys. I'm your driver. If you have any questions, just feel free to come and ask me. Otherwise, we're going up to Scenic World now. And as we're going up, I'll tell you all about the Bridge Sisters Mount Solitary in the area. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, don't be, don't be shy to ask. And I'll also tell you guys a story about Mount Solitary. If you guys want to have a cheeky little listen to my story, it's a pretty interesting story, I reckon. So we'll point out the Three Sisters first. So Three Sisters will be on your right hand side there. Three sisters, if you haven't seen them today, the iconic landmark of the Blue Mountains, just there. Sacred to the Ramagara, the custodians of this area. And you can see that little bridge there, that's Honeymoon Bridge, connecting the cliff to the first sister, the place you'll get to. Now, Mount Solitary at the very back there, that big flat plateau, if you look at the back of the cabin, Mount Solitary. A cool thing about this um, place there, Mount Solitary, it's a good camping spot in the summertime, and also, like I said, I'll tell you guys the <coughs> if you guys want to listen to my story. So my story includes my friends in high school going to that rock and having a camp. camp. He's, he was camping about three or four days to Mount Solitary. He hiked about four hours, and he, did, he wasn't just camping like a normal person. He was camping He was camping for four days without sleep. He wanted to test out, he wanted to push his mind and body to camp without sleep, and he did so, he survived. But the first couple of days, the first two days, he felt really tired, and the third day, he started to like experience hallucinations. Yeah, <laughs> of course you started, would. <laughs> yeah, he said that the, the trees started talking to him, the birds were flying faster, the grass was <laughs> wiggling about, dancing around. It was, it was so, so weird but interesting, so it goes to show how sleep is very important to us. Yeah. But if you look to the right, he, Orphan Rock, another cool thing about this about this lookout is that it used to be the very most popular lookout, number one spot in the Blue Mountains. But in 1974 though, it closed down due to a mudslide. Very unfortunate because this was a very popular proposal site. You know, when it closed down, no one could go there anymore. And there, you still see the handrails on top of the set of stairs, the sketchy set of stairs on the side. But now it's closed down for roughly 50 years now. Um, I've heard a couple instances where people will bush bash, so they'll just, you know, track the, the grass and find a way to the rock. And it's possible, it's possible, but when you get, when you get to the top, you'll get splendid photos.